Today's auction by Japanese Irish Highlander is the Battle of Jador as part of Dunner's War uh, in colonial Nova Scotia in 1722. Uh, this auction is a naval skirmish between a small Royal Naval Cutter with the Grenadier Company of Phillips Regiment from Annapolis Royal. Uh, being attacked by two bands of Miklikmak warriors in coastal Nova Scotia. Um, a little historical background. Dunner's War was a conflict between the Amerindians in, of the Maliseets and Miklikmak nations who were being edged on by the French in Canada, in Quebec, and were also being pressured by New England settlements into what is now modern Maine and also other parts uh, such as uh, New Hampshire and Massachusetts. Uh, so this action is going to utilize aspects from the Field of Glory Renaissance with um, aspects from Cities of Gold. And so we'll see how well the Miklikmak can stand up against uh, grenades. Even though we have a warship, uh, there are no guns on this ship. Uh, for this exercise, uh, it's just going to be infantry with muskets trying to fend off a ship seizure, which I must say, part of the um, inspiration for this uh, skirmish game uh, comes from a colleague of mine, uh, Mr. Uh, Dan Conlon, who is one of the curators at the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And he actually did this as one of his papers uh, while I was studying with him at university back in 1996, 1995, 1996. Oh, here we are. The first action of today's game shall be, obviously, the French, because the French always go first. And we have, oh my goodness gracious me, a three movement, meaning that the Micmac can advance out and try to take on the vessel. First of all, their movement actions, they're in boats. Uh, we're going to use uh, land-based movement for the simple fact that I don't have any sea-based movement cards. So we'll uh, act as though these ships are as horses. One movement and one movement again. Two movements. Another movement. And then the Micmac are going to start opening fire. As well, because the size of the game was so small... Uh, the actual battle was a very, very small uh, action. Uh, the figures are one-on-one, -on -one, so each individual figure gets to fire in this game. We have two shots and two hits, meaning that one grenadier has now fallen. Two other musket shots, uh, another grenadier has fallen. Another grenadier is down. And, oh my, the first volley by the Micmac have actually reduced three grenadiers out of the battle. So they are now making their maker. And we also have a chief firing, and he's actually caused a casualty as well. The British player is now going to make their move, and they have a two action, meaning that they can try to repel the initial boarding action. The first action which the grenadiers are going to do is to lob grenades into the canoes. We have one, two, Three and 
four grenades have been tossed in. One grenade failed to go off. Three grenades have gone off. But we shall see what has happened. Bam! We had three people taken out by the first grenade. The second grenade has sunk the canoe. Meaning it took its um, warriors with it. And bang! We have another three warriors taken out. So, the initial strike by the Micmac was successful only in taking out three grenadiers. However, the counter battery, counter fire, I suppose, uh, resulted in. 10 uh, warriors being taken out. So already the Mac player is in a dilemma. Uh, should they continue or shall they withdraw? Their first card comes up, they are going to fall back and try to melt back into the forest. <clears throat> the English are now going to do much the same as they have an A card. They are going to pivot and pursue the Mac into the coast. The Mac turn up. They have a two movement card. They are turning and firing on their pursuers almost as a raking fire. They've taken out one crew member off of the ship. Which actually happens to be a toy version of Will Turner. Uh, the British player then turns up another card. And are faced with yet another one action, which isn't so good. I forgot to make the Micmac fall back. Uh, the British can only, possibly, they are going to try to bring on a broadside of their muskets on the next turn. Micmac turn up a two action, firing again. Bang bang! They took out another member of the gun of the ship's crew. This time, Mr. Gibbs has fallen overboard. British turn up a card again, and oh gosh darn it! It's still another a action for them. So they can actually fire this time. We have one, two. Three, four, wet powder for the British. They only were able to take out one warrior. They're going to fire again. They shot another warrior. And they've been able to eliminate the warriors off the canoe. Meaning that the only one left in there is their priest who was egging them on as well as a... Micmac dressed in Canadian costume, and seeing as they have are unarmed or vastly outnumbered, they have now raised their hands in surrender and are giving up. Thus, the replay of the Battle of Jador has resulted in English Nova Scotia being saved once again.